Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I go by Rachel Ray on the internet and if this is your first time, welcome. This is Floss Tube. This is where I talk about cross stitch, knitting, and other crafts that are fiber arts like embroidery, crochet, might do some latch hooking in the future. <laughs> so welcome if you're new and I welcome you to subscribe if you enjoy this video and maybe have a look at some of the other videos that I've made as well. I like to do a lot of diamond painting, but I also spend a lot of time doing cross stitch and knitting lately. So if you're into that sort of thing, thank you for stumbling in and sticking with me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for your patience with me while I was abroad. And now I am back in Ireland, as you can see in my craft room. And can I just say that I'm so grateful that I do have a dedicated space that I can store all my stuff. I know that that's not the case with everybody. So it just makes me feel really I don't know, I feel like I've made it, um, but I also wish that I could share that with those of you who don't have a dedicated craft space, but it's okay. I've lived that life before too. I've had to move every year for several years in a row when I was a teacher, and I know what it's like having very, very limited space, but still being a crafter. So please don't judge me too hard. <laughs> um, I have spent the last week kind of just in a in a weird place um, because I just came back from the United States. I was taking care of my grandfather when he was ill and unfortunately he passed away and I stayed longer than expected just to just to help my family because I I wanted to be there, you know? I just wanted to be around and be helpful. That was one of the things that I've always wanted to do and I feel like I've fulfilled that part of what I feel like has been holding me back from doing things, um, you know, bigger things that would have kept me away from them. So I'm just really glad that I was able to be there and now I'm, I'm back home and I'm able to, to continue working and making videos for you all. So happy days. I have a lot of really cool stuff to show you today. I have a lot of haul. I have a finish for cross stitching. Uh, I have a new start as well. And I have um, some weird news about my knitting uh, for my shawl. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you today is my finish. Uh, this is not a fully finished object, an FFO. This is just fresh off of the hoop, <laughs> so to speak. Um, this is Peppermint Purple's 2020 Blackwork, a year of Blackwork, Sal Stitch Along. And I'll tell you, I have been, I have been, this is going to blow out on camera, just FYI. I may have to insert a picture here so that you can see it. I'm finished, but I'm not 100% happy. Here we go. So it's finished. I am happy about that. I know that the color, the colors, because it's white Ada, I used a 14 count Ada and um, just plain, plain store bought, you know, Ada. Um, I did most. I did all the color called for DMC colors, um, one strand, of course, of DMC. And you know, this project was a really good way of building my stash of floss. The thing that I'm not happy about are the words, uh, namely refresh. So uh, this is basically, it, it's broken down into blocks and each block represents one week of the year. And at that time, when I, when I stitched the word refresh, everything was opening up again. And we had like a renewed sense of hope. Um, but by the end of the year, yeah. So I don't know if I might um, actually take some of the stitches out of the top and the bottom and put in words, or maybe I will just change the word from refresh to something else. I, I don't know. I may actually just take out the words altogether and just make it plain because I don't know if the words uh, really resonate for me. Um, um, I, I was thinking about putting 2020 here, uh, 
but we'll see. Anyway, I, I'm really happy that I finished it. The last few blocks were a breeze. I think, which ones did I do? Oh yeah, I started just the last, the last five weeks because that's when I was uh, getting ready and when I first went over to, to the States. I did not take the project with me because it was only five blocks and it just would have taken up more space in my bag. So it's finished. Yay. <laughs> Go me. Uh, highly recommend it. I have a link to Peppermint Purple in my Link Haven, which is a Google document that I've created that has all the links to the designers, to the, uh, I think it's, so the, the link list is to all the designers, the thread dyers, you know, all that stuff that I talk about. Um, and then I have a separate whip list and that will show you what I'm working on currently and uh, where to get that specific thing. So if you're looking for a specific thing, go to the whip list, but that's that all finished. Now I just need to frame it. <laughs> I just need to frame it. Okay, so that's my finish. And then I have a new start. So um, I'm using the bag that I was using for Peppermint Purple because I absolutely adore this bag. This is a patchwork paw print bag. She's located in the UK. It's a vinyl fronted bag and it's, um, is it quilted? It's not quilted, but it is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I absolutely love it. I believe that the fabric name is Liberty, if I remember correctly but um, she's on Etsy and I have her linked as well. Uh, if you're in the UK or in Europe, definitely check her out. I don't know if she's open right now due to what's going on, don't know, but you're welcome to check her out. I really enjoy uh, her bags. I've started a new chart for one of my best friends ever, and I am going to try to get this done as soon as possible because their birthday is in a week. If you're watching this right now, you know who you are um, and you know that I'm going to push through this to get it finished for your birthday. Um, <laughs> it's Wakanda Forever by Park Hopper Bart. Um, Park Hopper Bart is actually a guy who puts his patterns on Gumtree. And what that means is that you can actually give the amount that you think that the chart is worth or you can give as much as you want. So um, I highly recommend that you check out all of his charts because they are cool, really cool modern charts. Um, but Wakanda Forever is on there as well. And um, I, had, I definitely have him linked. Um, this is a, it's not a full coverage. It looks like full coverage because it's printed with a black background. Um, and I've seen some people do it with black fabric. Looks amazing. Um, Michelle Bendy Stitchy who I also have her linked in the link list. All the YouTubers I talk about are down there too, if you want to check them out. Um, she did hers on this beautiful like burgundy maroon. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Anyway, um, I'm trying to get you to guess what color I put mine on, but uh, this is gorgeous. So I started in the middle, which is actually right about here. And, um, and it's actually a lot quicker than I thought it would be. So... Let's have a look. I'm doing my own color conversion. So it calls for DMC and it's only five colors, just five. But I've done my own color conversion because I wanted to use something special. I'm using um, Be Stitch Me Silks and I'm using Weeks Dye Works Snowflake. So these silks actually came in the Halloween box. There was a, it's not called a bash box. It's like a, it's like a stash box, like a stash builder box. And um, so anyway, we've got this yellow, which is called brew. It's kind of like a, a greenish yellow. The purple is called witchy. I have shown these before when I did the unboxing. I don't know if I can link that. This one's called pumpkin. Uh, this is Weeks Dye Works Snowflake, which I know it's got pink in it, but it, you could barely tell. And then this one, the black one is called cauldron. So I'm using those silks and the over dyed cotton on a piece of Misty's mystic fabrics. Nothing. 
Nothing is one of my favorite colors by Misty. It's a beautiful like mottled gray and this is a 32 count linen. Now this is the light version of Nothing. I also have a dark version that is um, being used for the Pilgrim, which is a long dog sampler. I'm using that with silks as well, but that one is a 28 count, I think. Oh, what happened to my light? Oh goodness, anyway, sun went away. Have a look at that. So this is, there it, it's coming back now. So this is where I am. I'll try to fold it up a little bit so that you can see better. So I haven't really quite centered it well, but it's okay. I have plenty of room. Ta -da. Beautiful. So um, I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, this I got this done in like, I don't know, two or three hours. The inside with the black thread, I'm doing that tent stitch because I thought that it would give a, a nice plump coverage. And it seems to be working out just fine. Now you're super close, so you can see the fabric, but when you're looking from a normal distance, you cannot see the fabric underneath that. But it is really beautiful. I like it a lot. It's gonna look fabulous. And those letters and the borders and stuff, that's gonna fly. So as soon as I get the three Black Panther heads stitched, zoomies it's gonna go so fast so that is my new start and plans for this week I'm woefully behind on a lot of my stitch alongs like the dark queen of the sea sal by autumn lane stitchery that's the one with the beautiful lady on the blue and purple fabric um, haven't touched that haven't touched that in weeks um, what else am I behind on? I'm behind on a lot of things, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay because I just moved back after four months of being away. And <laughs> this, this situation is always tends to happen uh, when I, I struggle with lighting because in this country, it's like hot or cold. So my apologies. All right, so that is my cross-stitching update at the moment. Um, I'm also hoping to put in some time for the um, temperature mandala that I'm doing with Becky's Madness for crafting. Um, I haven't I haven't kept up with that either, but it's so quick to catch up on because it's just like, I'll put up the picture. It's just um, really quick, you know, I don't know, 15 stitches for each day. And so it's very fast. Coffee. All right. So that that's that for the whips and stuff. Now I have some haul. I haven't done haul in a long time and I'm really excited. So let me get my little thingy, my opener. First thing I want to open that I haven't yet opened is a needle minder from Agnes Little Minders. She sent it in this uh, adorable box. Let me see if I can cover my address. Um, and I always love getting her mail. Now, I remember ordering this a long time ago because when I started Dark Queen of the Sea, I wanted the octopus needle minder and I didn't get it. I got a dragon instead because I was too slow. It's very blue. Okay, now I'm a bit more warm toned. Let's try that. It might work for the time being anyway. Um, so it was wrapped all nice and pretty blue paper, which I didn't show you <laughs> because I'm flustered. Okay, um, this is a lollipop. She also gave us some tea, a card, and then the needle minder. Let's see what the card says. This is gonna be her business card and a note. Thank you so much, Rachel. Enjoy your bright destiny octopus, Agnes. And then it has care instructions and her, her business card. 
so you can pause it if you need to. But I also have her in the Link Haven because she is an artist, a true artist, and I really like her stuff. So let's open up the pretty box. Sorry, y'all, for the darkness. I can't control the weather. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. All right, you're going to laugh at me because of the colors, but it's just so pretty. Look. Isn't it adorable? It's so pretty. The butterfly and the jewels. So I got my first choice. I wanted the one with the jewels and the butterfly, and my second choice was going to be the one without the butterfly or the jewels. She makes her own little polymer clay backer for the magnet as well. So it's a little easier for me to hold. Isn't it pretty though? So that's gonna go with my Dark Queen now because I finally have an octopus and I'm excited about it. <laughs> um, I have all of my cover minders and needle minders here. Um, I just used a cookie sheet. So fun little hack if you want to store all of yours in a place too. I know that they have, um, I think it's Danielle Stiturista here on YouTube. I think she has like a magnet board, like a, a thing that goes on the wall, which is really cool. Goals. All right, next up, I have more cover minders. <laughs> Get my, my scissors. And this one is from a friend. Becky's daughter uh, goes by Tiny Pufferfish online, and she has an Etsy store too. I have her linked as well. Ooh, I got a card with my name on it. It says, thank you. Thank you for purchasing from my shop again. I hope you enjoy your order and gift. Please have a nice day, Becca. Eee! Let's see. Okay, Oh, so here's... The needle winders I got and her business card. Uh, there we go. She, I, I'm obsessed with this game called Untitled Goose Game. And when I saw that she had the goose in her shop, I was like, yeah, I have to have this. And so we have the, a goose with a pipe. <laughs> God, I love, I love that game so much. You have no idea. <laughs> Press X to honk. Uh, there's a no geese sign or no goose, no goose sign. And then she's given me a gift. This is so adorable. Thank you, Becca. Please check out her shop. She has lots and lots of things. Oh, oops. Of course I drop it. Pretty. It's a little crystal heart. That's pretty. Thank you so much love it so these these can be used as um, needle minders of course or if you diamond paint as cover minders they hold back the cover paper so i'm going to pop them right over here and add them to my collection all right so that is from tiny puffer fish <laughs> come on <laughs> Ireland. Okay. So this is from the Crafty Kitten. The Crafty Kitten is a fabric dyer and she's located in the UK. I'm trying to support more local businesses to me. Um, and I have been in her fabric of the month club since early last year. I think maybe February, maybe. And I know that things are a little bit behind because of supply problems, but I don't mind. Oh, ooh. ooh, this time we have opal, okay. So I get the Smalls Club, so these are great for like ornaments and little projects. And trust me, it's been a blessing because then you don't have to like cut fabric to size or whatever. Um. <laughs> Sorry. So we have, oh boy, we have the September 2020 
That's how far we are behind, unfortunately. September 2020 limited edition opalescent, which is, let's take it out so you can hopefully see it a little better. This is like a, a pinky, yellowy green. There we go. And it's shiny. Oh, her, her fabric smells so good. So that's that one, September 2020. Then we have October 2020. I must email her and just make sure everything's okay. Ooh, and of course the sun comes out then. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. That is so true to color. I don't know how that works. You can't see anything behind me, but you can see the fabric really well. Um, beautiful purple pink. And this, let's see, September's is a 32 count Belfast linen. This is also 32 count Belfast linen. I switched, I remember now, I switched to the linen club because um, I was in the Even Weave Club for a while. Let's see, what's this one? This one is called Moon Dust Opal, and this is a 28 count cashel. Ooh, a pretty. Oh, I love grays. Grays are a wonderful um, neutral to do any project on. A lot of people say that about like browns and stuff, but I, I like gray. <clears throat> Excuse me. Moon Dust Opal. Beautiful, and it has this very subtle sparkle to it, which unfortunately you can't see, I don't think. Ooh, and this one is a 40 count. If I ever get the nerve to actually stitch on it, and it's called Rosa. Rosa. Wow, that is small. Like, it just looks like a, like a piece of clothing. <laughs> Pretty. I hope, I hope that I can stitch on 40 count. I do have some 40 count fabrics and I want to try, but it is, is really small. It looks just like a shirt, like shirt material. So wish me luck. So that is my haul from Crafty Kitten. Wonderful fabric dyer. <laughs> so you can see me again. Um, and the last thing I have is actually um, a limited edition or yeah, limited edition um, bag from Lindy Stitches. I think it's a kit actually. When you order from the designer of Lindy Stitches, she always gives you a, um, a personalized drawing on the bag. So this time we have what could be a seal. I'm going to call it a seal because I love seals. Um, and let's see. Let's see what we got. I'm so excited. I love Lindy Stitches bags. They're so adorable. I think I have, yeah, I have, I have two of the, I'll show you really quickly so you can see why I'm obsessed. Um, see, I keep things in, I keep things in odd places, y'all. Yes. So we have, sorry, I keep some of my Q-snaps as well. This one is the um, the fall bag that she did with, so this is from the 805 Stitcher. And then inside we have a trio of birds, I believe. What does she call it? Autumn Royalty, which is, oops, three charts. The Lord of Gourds, the Prince of Pies, and the Count of Candy. <laughs> so cute. I just can't resist, okay? <laughs> I can't. I, I just can't. And then um, this one, which is Beach Dance, my blue-footed booby bag. I know that some of you are laughing at me, but I cannot help this. I'm starting to love birds. This is Beach Dance. If you're interested in checking her out, I highly recommend that you sign up for her newsletter. Or please don't, because then I can buy all the pretty things. <laughs> But no, I'm just kidding. Sign up for her newsletter and she will send you an email letting you know when she's going to release these things. <gasps> Ooh, so cool. Okay, the bag is empty. So this one, look at this bag. 
That is so cute. They're bird watching. Oh, and I love that there's a blue jay. Blue jay, robin, dove, woodpecker. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, and in here is another kit. Can you see? It's another kit in here. So it comes with the, she has this sticker so that you can write your details on your project. Comes with a um, thank you with my name on it. Yay! And her autograph. This is called Before the Ball and it's a little freebie from her. And then the actual pattern is Edna Goes to Brunch. Isn't that so cute? Oh, I love it so much. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and then it goes to brunch and then it comes with all of the flosses that you need for that pattern. So these are all Weeks Dye Works specialty flosses. Amazing. Ooh, I'm so happy that I have it. I know I need to, I need to start one of them. I also have kitted up and I wish I had a bag for it. Um, which if you're watching 805 Stitcher, could you make a um, vampire bat bag so that I can put that, uh, what is it called? Hold on, what's his name? Oh, what's his name? That's going to bug me. You're probably screaming it at me. You can leave it down there. She did like a vampire bat for Dracula. Anyway. I love Lindy Stitches. She's such a great designer and she's a wonderful human being. She has a floss tube as well. Please check her out. Um, you will not be disappointed. She's amazing. So that is all cross stitching. And see here, I thought that I wouldn't have anything at all to talk about today. Okay, now that we are done showing you the uh, cross stitching, I have something to give away because I haven't been here in so long and I've been wanting to give stuff away. I have three charts available. So the rules for giveaways, if you check down below in the description box, you can see them all written out. You have to be 18. Don't use the word giveaway anywhere in your comment. Please use the word that I ask you to use and make sure that you spell it correctly. And then make sure that you fill in the happy mail form, which is a Google form down below. That's a contact form so that I can email you once you've won to get your address. I've changed it a little bit just to be sure that I don't get caught for GDPR. So make sure that you're, you're giving me your email address so that I can email you and get your physical mailing address later on if you win. All right, uh, and doing so gives me consent to contact you, basically. All right, so uh, first of all, I've got this little summer cottage, like a, an allotment, a she shed, if you will. This is a design from Siobhan Harrison. I'm sorry, it won't focus for some reason. Typical. There we go. A beautiful little shed with some roses and birds and a watering can. I thought this is super cute and it's just sitting here collecting dust in my craft room. Uh, this is small enough that you could fit it on an ornament sized piece of fabric, but it's, it's actually quite a lot of stitching. So um, there is cross stitch, half cross stitch, back stitch, and French knots be a good way to uh, practice if you're new at cross stitching. If you would like to stitch this, please use the word shed, S-H-E-D, somewhere in your comment. You can use it, in a, use it in a sentence, whatever you want. I'm going to fold this and put it in an envelope so you will get, get it folded. This is like a booklet, but I will have to fold it in half again to get it into the envelope. So if you don't want it creased, don't enter in the giveaway. <laughs> All right, uh, next one is actually a kit. And this is so cute. Look at the two little birds and the teacups. This actually comes with Ada and Floss. Show you here in the back. See? And it comes with a card. This was from a kit in the World of Cross Stitching magazine. And I don't think I'm ever going to get around to doing it, but this would be super cute to do for a friend 
or something like that. Um, so if you would like to enter into win this, please use the word T. T E A T. Also, if your name gets chosen twice, you can only win once. So just FYI, <laughs> once per episode. Um, and then the last one that I have was actually given to me from Michelle Bendy Stitchy. She sent me a bunch of charts in the mail to give away. So I'm going to give away one of her charts today. And it is called You're Okay. You're Okay, I guess. I love this one. I like how quirky it is. Like the heart isn't a perfectly shaped heart. I think that's my favorite thing about it. That and the tiger lilies, because I love tiger lilies. But if you are interested in getting this chart, this is gorgeous. This is a 91 by 90 and I love it so much. Um, just please put the word, okay, okay, A Y, the full, the full spelling of okay, okay, A Y, somewhere in your comment. Thank you so much, Michelle, for giving me that chart to send on to someone else. Oh, I'm doing a knit along, which has finished. It was called the Season of Serenity Shawl by Knit Joys, and every day you would do a section of the pattern leading up to Christmas. Well, uh, I don't knit that fast, <laughs> clearly. Uh, but, and this is not a beginner pattern and I am very much a beginner knitter. So uh, there are lots of mistakes in this, but I'm very nearly finished. Ooh, sorry, I just realized it scratched on the table and that probably hurt your ears. I'm so sorry. Um, hmm. This is a beautiful pattern, but I've messed up somewhere. And I'm now trying to fudge it to make it work. You ever do that in a project? I do it all the time, but I do it a lot more in knitting than I ever did in anything else that I've ever done. <laughs> so I've shown this a few times, but if you're new here, I'll show you. All right. So we started up here on the neutral side. The yarn that I'm knitting with is from Dina's Home of Crafts in the UK. And it is beautiful yarn. So see how this section stops about one section down from this one, right? So there's the green blue section and it sticks out a little bit. It's supposed to do that. Oops, sorry, I'm directionally challenged as we say. And then the purple section, purple pink section, unfortunately, that right there is supposed to be the last section, but it's not long enough. So something went wrong. One of these sections must be too small. I mean, I'm guessing that it's this one. Something went wrong anyway. Um, so I am repeating day 13 and I may repeat day 20 as well, um, or another lace section because it's too short and it's supposed to stick out one section from the last section, the, from the last cast off section, which is this one right here. Well, you need the right side from that beautiful section right there. I absolutely love this pattern, but I messed up somewhere. Um, I might send pictures to the designer and show her just to be like, can you tell what I did wrong? Cause I'm a noob and I need help. But um, it is pretty, just I messed up somewhere. So I wouldn't mind doing another section again. I'm just not gonna do that section again. <laughs> that section took me forever. Um, so yeah, I'm doing like a, a knit pearl alternate stripey one here with this gorgeous brown. This is supposed to be the last color. Uh, I was thinking about going back and grabbing some of these colors to finish off that border with because I have all of the leftovers 
all of the extra yarn from the rest of this, which is fabulous. I'm going to have like loads of weird colored socks eventually. But um, if I ever manage to knit a sock, <laughs> that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, but yes, I, I absolutely love it. I just messed up somewhere. It's okay. It's fine. It's just going to take me longer than I expected, than I anticipated. And I do want it to look symmetrical, even if the pattern is off. You know what I mean? Like, I want it to to have the look that it's the right size. That means more to me than having, like, the end pieces be the beautiful um, column like this. Each end piece ends on a column like that. I don't know what to call those. They look like columns to me. So having it spaced out correctly is, is definitely more important to me. So that is my current work in progress, and hopefully I'll finish that this week. That's the plan. And now I have a lot of haul for knitting, so get ready. I have so much to show you all. All right, let's start with, uh, all right, let's start with Knit Crate. So I do Knit Crate. It's a, it's a website where they send you um, yarn every month. It's actually quite a good deal when they have yarn that you want. Everybody's different. Everybody likes different yarn. Um, and since last year, they haven't really had the same supply because of everything going on. Um, so they haven't had the same supply as they did before the pandemic. So a lot of the yarn that they had, I wasn't interested in. Does that make sense? Um, but there have been a few since and they have been shipped. I get the eco bag. I don't know if they have boxes anymore, to be honest, but um, they used to come in a box. Now they come in a bag. I don't care. It's fine. Um, they are a little bit less, like, more squished, but it doesn't really matter to me. I like that they had the option of you could choose the bag, but now they just make everybody get the bag. It's fine. Okay, so let's have a look. I don't know which is which. Ooh. So I changed mine to sock yarn. That is... February, what's this one? Is that empty? Yeah, that's empty. This is December. Oh, because yeah, I didn't get January. Okay, so I don't like chunky yarn, so I, I opted out of the chunky yarn. Let's start with December. So this is called Squad Goals. And looks like... Oh, they have it now where you can download the booklet. They used to have it where they sent you a printed booklet, which I've kept all my printed booklets, but now you can actually just go to their website and download the, um, the issues. Uh, so yeah, you want to keep this though, cause it has the link on it. Um, but squad goals and this month's yarn is called wish list. This is, Ooh, it's different. This is 75% uh, Superwash Merino, 15% Donegal, Donegal Neps. Just trip me up because it's a, an Irish word. Uh, what's Neps though? I don't know. And 10% nylon. This is a 100 gram skein, which is approximately 400 yards. And uh, you can machine wash this. They call this the unicorn sock base which is interesting because I would have expected unicorns being like um, Stellina or something. Uh, but I guess the nips are these little white dots. So this is what the yarn looks like. It's pretty. It's a very, it's a very um, cornflower blue is the color that I want to call it. It's not really my color, but maybe it's someone else's color. Um, I will hold on to that for a little while. And then the gift that they gave us, give us a little notions pouch that has a key ring on it. 
So that's nice. You can put stitch mark markers in there if you like, and it's somewhat transparent. I don't know if you can tell, um, but you can see what's in there without seeing completely through it. So that's cool. And then here I have February 2020s called Unwind 2021. 2021 they're doing a tree print planting project and sock crate we're capturing your heart with vitalana glam sock it's so soft i love the vitalanas um i'm i'm in love with them whenever there's a vitalana i get it so this is actually like a royal purple color and it's another one of those difficult to capture on camera colors and this is 70% superwash merino 10% silk 10% stellina and 10% nylon this is going to make a fantastic sock like a like a cushy um sleep sock or yeah I I would love that now with stellina you can see that it's sparkly super duper sparkly I like that like it a lot and they give you the gauge and everything here which is great this is hand wash so you may not want to make socks for someone else for the in this because <laughs> they will forget and they will put it in the machine and then it'll come out this big and the gift for this month is a compress it says warm hands warm heart and these are great because you can um i think you can microwave these yeah microwave for 30 seconds or 30 second intervals and you can have a hot compress or you can put it in the put it in the fridge and have a nice cool compress in the summer that's great just put it in the freezer so that's wonderful that's knit crate if you're interested in knit crate i have a link down in my link haven so you have to open up the google document look for the word knit crate and when you click on the link it'll give you 50 percent off your box I'm pretty sure that's the promotion that they're doing. 50% um, off your first box. You have to be a new member for that. But um, the cool thing about Knit Crate is that you can skip. You don't have to do every month. So that's why I like it because you can just say, okay, um, I don't like what you're having on offer this month and you can just skip it. Uh, and they also, when you become a member, you get access to their member central, I think they call it. It's where you can go in and you can buy more skeins at a discounted price. And that is wonderful. I have done that several times and I don't know if you can see it because the lighting is so bad today, but down here I have, um, the alpaca yarn and I, I bought as many as I could. Um, because I really like it and I want to make a huge scarf out of it. Anyway, uh, just full disclosure, if you use my link, um, I will get a free box of a coupon code for a free box. So that'll help me get more yarns to share with you and hopefully, oops, give you in the future as well in the giveaways. Next, we have three, three bags from So Livy Dyes Yarn. Now, So Livy, uh, I believe, where is she? Colorado Springs. So she's in Colorado and she's doing a monthly club. The one that I signed up for is the, wait a minute, just had a brain fart. The Never Ending Story Club. And it's, it's fantastic. I have one already, which I showed you a while back. And this one is Falcor. See how it's got Falcor on it? Gorgeous. Love it. I love this color so much. Now, when I, I contacted her, because she put up a teaser photo on Instagram. And, like, this is, this is something you can do. I contacted her and I was like, I love the idea of this club. I love The Never Ending Story. It's one of my favorite childhood movies. Could you, do you have a Stellina base? And she was like, I can't offer a Stellina base to everybody, but because you asked me, yes, I can make you a Stellina one. And I was like, Woo! so of course I had to have it. <laughs> and 
I don't know which month is which. Let me just check. Actually, let me check. 12, 12. Okay, so it goes in this order. Okay, got it. Got it. <gasps> wow. Okay. Wow, I'm in shock. I'm like stuck. So this is... This is a Treyu and Artax. And I just saw this beautiful card. Nothing is lost, everything is transformed. It says, thank you so much for being a part of my very first yarn club. I hope you love your yarn. I got a little excited and wanted to send month one a little early. <gasps> so this is month two. This is month two, okay. Here's month one. A Treyu and Artax. Look at this color. I love it. Oh my gosh. Also, tears well up in my eyes every time I see the word Atreyu, the name Atreyu. That is a beautiful color, y'all. All right. So, Savannah does it again. She says, uh, remember, we are all part of a never-ending story. Okay, so that's month one and two. Yay! I need to keep keep that card. So this is her. So Livy dies yarn. And she gives you a coupon code. So when you order from her, maybe she'll give you one too. Let's see, this one is okay, so this is December. This is January. This is February. Ready? It's ready. Oh, ooh, girl. Okay, nice. Let me take it out of this dust bag. The never ending story. So this is the, from the inspiration looks to be from the movie poster. Holy cow, look at that. That's beautiful. It's not showing this color very true, unfortunately, but it is it is like a, a nice denim and then it goes into this really beautiful like jade and bright blue and yellow and pink oh I love it look at all these speckles this is amazing okay so that is month three <laughs> oh my gosh these are so pretty and here is month four there's six months in this club, so there will be more. Ooh. Okay. This one is called Oracle Gate. Oh, that is pretty. I like that. I love yellow and blue. They are such great complements of each other. But you know the Oracle Gate? where there's the two sphinxes in the movie. So that's Oracle Gate. Gorgeous. This is super soft as well. 60% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, and 20% Stellina. So those are the club colors so far. Gorgeous. I'm going to have to use them separately in other projects, I think, but they are beautiful. Thank you so much, Savannah. I am just overwhelmed by how beautiful these are. Ah, and they're so special. <laughs> um, if you're interested in joining a yarn club, be sure to follow her on Instagram. Her Instagram is so Livy underscore dies underscore yarn. So, so as an S E W so Livy underscore dies underscore yarn if you type in so livy like that it will bring you right to her instagram account so that is that yarn Ooh, all the pretties i'm so excited so i have two more to show you uh one is from curio stitches and one is from threads by megan nicole okay so we're gonna start with my good friend ellie over at curio stitches who I did the um, the testered pattern for the feline phantom. She does patterns as well as yarn, so be sure to check her out. 
think I need to fix my settings because we've gone into full blown uh, cloudy mode. That's a little bit better. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yes, I ordered this yarn from her while I was abroad because I have a color over there. Let me get it. This one from Urban Girl Yarns in Richmond, Virginia. This is called the Fancy Peddler. And um, this I wanted something to pair with. So I ordered this from Curio Stitches. So this is called Strawberry Cheesecake and it's a Stellina. I think you can see, hopefully. It's nice and sparkly. And it's beautiful pink and cream. Now, looking at the, them together, I think they do go together really well. They should look good together. This I'm planning on using for the inauguration celebration shawl, but I may change my mind eventually. So um, that's going to be like the... This is going to be the main color because I have three skeins of it and this is going to be the accent and I think it'll be really nice and pretty. So I'm super excited about that. Curious Stitches has their own website and you should definitely check it out. I have it in the link haven. CurioStitches.com. Again, like I said, for yarn and patterns, she has these beautiful mitts, like fingerless glove mitts. I don't remember what they're called. They're called like wolf something. All right, and this is a package from Threads by Megan Nicole. This is how it came outside of the package. That's really nice packaging. I like that a lot. I like that it's not plastic. All right, so let me keep her business card. Whoops. She's on Etsy, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. I ordered two from her, I know. There's a little note. How cute. Thank you so much for your order, Rachel. I hope you make some lovely things. All the best, Megan. Thank you. <gasps> They're so pretty. Okay. They are wrapped in plastic on the inside. Y'all, I need, I need another like layer of these. <laughs> For all the yarn. I've had to stop myself because I bought all this stuff while I was abroad. I knew it'd have all these goodies for me. So this one is called Blue Steel. Look how saturated this is. Isn't that cool? I love it. So this reminds me of like a blue jay. And I think, what was I, what was I going to pair this with? I had an idea for this, I think. Hmm. I know I had an idea for this. I, th I think it might be my Yennefer, but I'm not 100% sure. This is very pretty though. And it would make a good like one skein wonder. But her, all, of her, all of hers are super, super saturated. So if you want a punch in the face from your yarn, definitely go check her out. Uh, and then the second one that I got is called Deep Woods. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. So I thought that this would make a really pretty cowl or something. And I wanted, I wanted something that was a little bit more wearable because I tend to buy like the colors that I love, like teals and uh, pinks and purples and stuff. But actually, if I'm going to wear something because I have red hair, I need something that's like green. So that'll go really well with um, my winter coats and stuff like that. Unless I change my hair color. But um, yeah, it's so pretty. I like that a lot. Kind of looks like a fairy tale, right? So that is all. <laughs> of the haul and everything that I needed to show you. I can't believe that I managed to, to get an entire episode out of this.
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed spending some time with me and seeing all the things that I got and also saw some of my progress. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on those notifications and turn them on. Uh, and I can't wait to see you again in my next video. Please have a very good weekend. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Take care everyone. Bye.